Hi everybody, Dr. Shulman and Dr. Neely here with you. We're going to go through with you how to stand properly. A lot of people are standing more at their desk these days and people are asking us to review proper standing posture. So when it comes to posture, a lot of this has to do with where we distribute our weight. So what we tend to do, especially if we're at a standing computer or we're working over the store, over the stove or something like that, is we tend to have our body too far forward. So we're using the muscles in the front of our body too much, and the muscles in the back of our body are getting very, very weak, causing us to sort of slump forward and cause all kinds of pain and health issues because of that. So we're gonna go through some three really simple tips that you can use to correct your standing posture, and I think you're gonna be pretty amazed how these three simple things are gonna make it so that you don't have to think so much about whether you're standing properly. Well, the first and most important thing is about where your weight's going to be. So Dr. Neely's obviously here to help me. He's actually got pretty good posture most of the time, but he was the fastest model I could find. So he's going to stand here and demonstrate for us. So if you think of the bottom of your foot, you think of three points at the bottom of your foot. So the ball of your big toe, the ball of your baby toe, and your heel. And if you think of those three in a triangle, what most of us do is we literally hang about 80% of our weight into the front of our foot, causing things like knee pain and bunions and posture issues and a hump in the back of your neck. A lot of that starts from the fact that we're falling our weight forward all of the time. So think of those three points, ball of the big toe, ball of the baby toe, and your heel on your foot. Really, really plant them into the ground. So if you're sitting down, I'd actually get up and try this. It's pretty powerful. And now all I'm going to ask Dr. Neely to do is can you please shift about 55 to 60% of the weight into your heel? So half the weight is going through your heel. The second you do that, hopefully you didn't fall backwards. A lot of people's muscles are so weak in the back these days that they actually stagger backwards and they have trouble balancing in this position. Simply doing this has kicked on all the muscles in his back, it's kicked on his hamstrings, and it's almost impossible for him to slouch in this position because the weight, so 55 to 60% of the weight are gonna sit in his heels. Then from this position, many people have a shoulder that's rounded. So what's happened is this actual ball and socket joint is actually rounded in, causing this to cave in and his body to slump forward at the same time. So you can tell when someone's shoulders are rounded in because Dr. Neely is demonstrating fabulously. Do you see how his thumbs are pointed in? So when your shoulders rounded, it takes your arm with you and it causes your thumbs to then point at each other. In proper posture, our thumbs will actually point forward. So what we want to do while we're fixing this is we want to overcorrect that and actually have our palms turn forward and have our thumbs point to the sides of the room. So Dr. Neely is doing it correctly. So what we want to do is we want to really make sure that when we do that rotation, it's coming from the shoulder. So he's rolling his shoulders from here open, which is turning his hands. What you want to make sure you don't do is try to twist your elbow at all, because a lot of people will cause elbow issues if you try to turn from here. So the turning comes from the shoulder, and very often you can even feel the muscles kick on in the back of his shoulder here. So if I'll just have you turn around. So he's using, so rotate your shoulders again for me. So what he doesn't want to do is squeeze his shoulder blades together while he's doing that. He wants to use the muscles in here to just roll this shoulder open. That's proper posture. You can turn back around, doing a great job. And then last but not least, a lot of people want to know where to put their heads when they're standing there. So in his ever so perfect posture. What, a lot of, what happens to a lot of people, is we're just gonna demonstrate what we don't want, so I'm gonna turn you to the side for a sec. So slump yourself forward. So when people slump themselves forward, they still need to look ahead. So what they tend to do, to you see how he brought his chin up? So when our shoulders come forward, we still need to see, so we tend to bring our chins up like that, causing a lot of tension and pain in through the back of the head there that people are suffering with enormously these days. So I'm just going to have you put your shoulders back where they go. And then all I'm going to have him do with his head is that most of us need to actually drop our chin just about half an inch because we've got that head up thing going on where we're squeezing in through here. And then if you're wondering where to put your head, what you want to do is you literally want to picture that there's something heavy on top of your head. So if I push down on his head and he just pulled up, did you see how he grew a little bit taller there? Just pulled up against my head. So as he does that, you can see he aligns his posture perfectly. 
Another way to think of it, rather than what you would do if I put something heavy on top of your head to balance, is to think of that thing that's hanging down in the back of your throat, right? And that little thing that's hanging down when you go, ah, think about pulling that up towards the ceiling. So think about that center pulling up towards the ceiling. That will do the same thing for you. Here's what you don't want to do that a lot of people are doing to try to overcorrect. Can you retract your chin for me, please? Do you see how when he retracts his chin, how much tension he's creating in this area? Doing these chin retractions. So that's, you can relax now. That's not anything we ever want to do. And when we're correcting our posture, you should constantly look like you're putting your body at more ease. So it should be a much easier thing to get into proper posture. You should never feel like you're over tensing your muscles to hold yourself that way. So again, right now, because he's such a good student, he's got his weight on his heels, he's got his shoulders rolled in the proper position, and he's just lifting up right through the middle there, up through the top of his head, and that's how you get proper posture. Well done. If you like this video, please click the like button below, subscribe to our channel, and leave us a comment and let us know any other videos that would be super helpful to you.